going on guys welcome to 2024 i want to talk about our goals of this year as well as little updates of stuff that we've been doing this week this month since the last update video okay so first of all you guys have been down here every day buying shirts i keep stocking up running out but we got the bigger sizes actually we got the old design and we got another design forgot about that so come and get it we sell about 30 or 40 a month just here in the shop we give away 40 or 50 around town and wherever so yeah everybody's gonna have a shirt pretty soon uh yeah next so we're doing a lot of community service kind of work and tomorrow we have a big um uh free community local seminar for cpr first aid scuba first aid and oxygen provider so uh <laughs> right now Anne is putting together we got these big workbooks for uh uh cpr and she's putting them together so that yeah tomorrow we have a giant seminar it's probably too late for this video but we're putting on stuff like this all the time so you guys can join us and you're doing so good show them your shirt oh my god i have c santa no, we're just the same one yeah mine's mine's way cooler okay. all right next so speaking of uh merch we got all the dive gear still or not still brand new down here awesome dive boots and i got like five of these regulators just came in the best regular ever apex xl4s these are awesome i don't even want to take it out of the box just take my word for it and we just got a bunch of bcds this one's dexter's so don't mind the pink that's what he wanted uh but we built a back plate for him awesome little one but we got another one here's one there's a black one i love these things and all our uh, students well our students they're learning in back plates so we they end up wanting them so we can order them for them so if you guys want to learn in uh back plates this has a uh uh, stainless steel three kilo back plate uh, so that you don't have to carry as many weights on your belt and it's only a waist strap you don't have an actual weight belt that falls off and it's super annoying so we train them in these back plates and they freaking love it and they they get them so if you want one let us know we'll build you one Elvis we finally got the roof show them the roof look roof it's Nice, nice shade. Nice shade and stuff. That, thing. that looks awesome. <laughs> Finally got it after like all these months and it only took like a few hours for them to do it. Really high quality and now the divers don't get rained on or sun sunned on. All right, next update. We gotta go to the town and give away shirts. So one of the other things we're doing today is like a little bit of guerrilla marketing. Just, uh, if you go around Dumaguete, you see our shirts everywhere and we thought it was funny so uh, we started giving them out to like parking lot attendants and tricycle drivers and all that. It's just guerrilla marketing man, our brand is everywhere so we're gonna hand out some more. Some guys asked for them here on the streets of Dumaguete like at the wherever where they park the scooters so we're just gonna go give them some shirts. It has our logo on it. We made them special for them, let's go. Okay, yeah, just wear it here, huh? So it says parking.
Uh, you have. Can you wear this? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this, this guy too. This guy's yeah. a parking spot. Yeah. Well. yeah. Try this one. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, sir. You gotta wear it, huh? Yep. If you wear it, I come back tomorrow and I give you a different color. Yep. Yeah. This is me. Thank you. This is funny. We got these bright orange shirts all over. So if you guys see these being worn and like on the boulevard or the in front of like Lee Plaza area, take a photo and send it to us because these are everywhere now. Even if it's not my shirt, you see a green one, you're going to wonder, is that Critter Hunter shirt? And it might be. Your parking attendant? Yeah, you like that? I do. You wear it? <laughs> Thank you. If you wear that every day, I you come back in a couple days and I give you a different different color. Okay? Okay. Ah, oh, looks nice. <laughs> looks good. Salawat. Thank you. I was just saw this dude with a green shirt. He thought that was one of our parking attendants, but it's not. It's just a random green shirt. <laughs> oh, but there's one. There's one. All right, Bubba, back to the shop. So that was fun. We gave out a whole bunch of shirts to like parking lot attendants and tuk tuk drivers and uh, like street vendors and stuff. And we've been driving around the last couple days to seeing uh, that bright orange color shirt with Critter Hunter on the front and parking attendant on the back. That's just funny. We, we were calling it guerrilla marketing. Just, uh, you're gonna see. I want you to think scuba diving in Philippines, and I want you to think of Critter Republic. That's the big goal for this year. I just wanna be synonymous with scuba diving in the Philippines, especially scuba diving in Dowin. But yeah, that was fun. Speaking of which, we got a whole bunch of other shirts. I guess we got this design, but we also have the new design and uh, all the big sizes. They're really hard to, keep up with I sell about 40 or 50 here in the shop per month and then we have an online store uh, so but they sell good here because it's really hard to find the bigger sizes like me uh, or even just uh, 2x here in the Philippines so we got them well hopefully we got them we're always sold out but we get them all every week so yeah there's more so another little update Elvis let's show them our uh, new lockers man I love these things. It took a lot of money and a lot of time to get these built how we wanted. But remember these white uh, drawer things? We took them all out and had our own personal ones built for me, the staff, and like, you know, trainees that are here for a long time, like our dive master. We got a couple dive master trainees and, uh, uh, you know, like Misty and the ones we sponsor, the people that are here for a while. So. Check this out. Yay, our cages. Here's Mark's cage. We have to lock it up because Elvis just started doing side mount. And he uh, gets in there and wants to steal everything. So he, Mark's got all his tech diving, side mount, all his gear. This one is like a, a bunch of wetsuits and stuff, rentals for our, our students. Basically, we're not really using this one yet. Um, here's Elvis's box. Here's uh, Lance and Brad and Misty and Ron. People that are here a lot, but you know, they're not like three day students, they're here all the time. Here's mine, all my dive gear. I love this thing. All my side mount BCDs, my back plates, my regulators, my side mount regulators, my regular regulators. All my gear fits in here. It's awesome. All my, uh, I don't know who put their BCD in here, but all my wetsuits and stuff. Yeah, these things are, these things are perfect and they are rubberized paint. It's never gonna uh, rust. Super heavy, six foot wide by seven foot tall. We made it so we could put boxes on top and underneath. Yeah, perfect addition. When we start getting some big groups like photographers and stuff, uh, we're gonna build some more over there for like cameras and stuff. 
And then we need our next project. We got to take out these white areas, box holders. These are for our like open water and temporary students. You know, they put their gear in here and then uh, put them in these boxes and they're only here for a few days or a week or whatever. But I want to replace these with some stronger metal ones because these are kind of falling apart. But that's a future project. Yeah, speaking of students, congratulations to Brett, Lance. Uh, they're about to finish their dive master training. Uh, a lot of a lot of students for Mark, but these two and with Elvis are dive master training. And then we're also, Brian, our up and coming instructor is helping out with that as well. But speaking of future projects, Elvis has been doing side mount. He just did his side mount course. We'll put some videos up. He absolutely in love with side mount now. So he convinced some of our dive masters and other students to uh, try it. And now everybody's freaking out about side mount because they, we've been doing like basically, I, I want to call it like a DSD for side mount, like a tri dive for side mount. They're already certified, whatever, but they go here in the pool and yeah they've been falling in love with it so now if you, and me i just got my side mount gear we're gonna be doing uh, a lot of courses january or now what month is this january february uh for side mount so you guys should come try it alvis is absolutely in love with it he's out there with one tank two tanks four tanks filming all day <laughs> so i guess we're side mount people now we also do a lot of advanced nitrox and deco procedures but We'll get into that another day. Another upcoming event, Tubataha. And it might be the boat already full, but we're doing, me and Elvis are doing a seven day cruise or live aboard to Tubataha probably in April, maybe in March. Uh, but I think it's gonna be April right around my birthday. So if you guys wanna go to Tubataha, if you've never heard of Tubataha, it's one of the only UNESCO World Heritage Sites on the planet, underwater, I should say, on the planet. And it's completely protected marine reserve, world class. Uh, it's where you'll see manta rays, whale sharks, hammerheads, all kinds of different sharks out in the blue. Uh, it's one of the best uh, dive locations in the world. And we'll spend seven days there doing three, four dives a day. It's gonna be amazing. It's pretty cheap. But hit me up because it's already it's it's already getting full and this is the first time i've announced it so uh yeah it's gonna definitely be full by march so hit me up i'll put the email down below if you want to come on like a bucket list dive trip seven days on the liveaboard it's gonna be insane so yeah we've been doing a ton of uh, courses and stuff around here we just did this uh free community uh cpr and oxygen provider course for like local divers, local dive masters, whoever, the, the resort staff. That was pretty fun. We had a little group and uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. That reminds me, we're still doing, we, we can take the GI Bill for all sorts of courses now. So if you're a US veteran, uh, you can come down, you can get your, from open water all the way instructor, tech instructor, as far as you wanna go or as little as you wanna do uh, with the GI Bill. Uh, Montgomery GI Bill, post 9-11 GI Bill, chapter 35, all kinds of stuff. If you got the GI Bill, the VA will pay for all your training. So hit us up about that. Congratulations to Misty. She finished her deep speciality. She was advanced diver, advanced open water. She just finished her deep speciality. So did my wife and a couple other students. So good job with that. Misty is starting her rescue course now slowly you know in between when she has days off of school if you don't know misty she was uh well you might have saw her in our happy dowin video that we posted this week uh that's pretty popular right now she's the one dancing at the beginning uh but she's also one of our sponsored kids we sponsor a lot of kids uh for various mentorship programs dive master mentorship whatever you want to call it just to get locals into like uh, this career, the scuba diving industry. It's really expensive to get into. Uh, there's a lot of courses and training involved, but once you're dive master, instructor, and above, you can make some money here in the Philippines. So if you guys want to sponsor a kid, just let us know. Uh, we have a whole list of people applying and we definitely need more. You, you, we can't help enough. 
so hit me up a lot of you guys have already done it it's been amazing so yeah let me know if you want to help with that we still have our dive apartment uh it is full december january and all of february and maybe some of march but if you guys are planning on coming down here to dive with me hit me up on uh on email and you can book our apartment it's much much cheaper than the resort if you don't want to stay in the resort of course the resort is luxury you don't have to do anything there's a restaurant down below and diving right out front but some of you guys are on a budget you're gonna do a whole bunch of courses that's not cheap you want something that's much cheaper or you know the apartment of course has two bedrooms and a kitchen you'll save money there and it's just a minute down the road so we can pick you up every day or you can ride if you have a scooter or whatever it's full for the next couple months so by the time you read it yeah just hit us up if you want to book that but it's an awesome uh, option for our students we had this amazing community cleanup last week that was awesome i have to give a huge shout out you guys probably saw the video we did there was like i think we counted 80 or 90 people and we cleaned up a lot of the beach we're going to be doing a lot of future projects we're going to be doing this or feeding the homeless something like that every month so if you guys want to get involved it's costing me a lot of money but it is really really good cause uh to get involved with there's a lot of people hitting me up that want to help they just don't know how or where or what to do uh so yeah definitely get involved if you want to do that we have one coming up where i need to build the actual trash cages and stuff like that where i can put it at di be different public beaches and stuff so that this problem just doesn't come back every week more trash from parties and picnics and stuff so I definitely need more help with that. I have an awesome crew, but there's only so much we can do. Uh, we were hoping these videos would sprout other communities or other groups to do it around the Philippines, around the world, and it has. A lot of people hitting me up, like Shay Wanders, or Shay Travels. She's doing it in Dumaguete now. I think a lot more frequently, but you know, a little small group every, every week or two, whatever she's doing. I think there's other groups doing it all over the Philippines now so that was my goal but I've adopted that one that one is mine I'm gonna do as much as I can so all the support and help is needed whether you're down here in person financially helping feed uh, the homeless or build trash cages yeah help us make a difference it's it's been amazing we got a trip going to Apo quite often but we got one coming up on January 22nd there's divers and, and just snorkelers, free divers, swimmers. Come join us. We'll be at Apple Island on that day, as long as the weather's good. Speaking of boats, you probably saw we started uh, working on the our dive boat rebuild uh, recently. We just posted a video. By the time you see this, there might even be another video. We're back into it. Like I said, I was taking an instructor course and a lot of tech courses, intro to tech, all the uh so we've been busy november december and january february we're hoping to finish this thing we're gonna bust this boat out paint it at least get it out front of my place out of the boat yard out here out front so that we can go out and do the woodwork and little customizations and stuff so yeah definitely subscribe a lot more boat videos coming boat building videos coming in the next weeks so yeah all right guys so i should probably mention if we're talking about goals and things we're going to be doing uh 2024 it's been if you've been watching my channel a long time i've been talking about wanting to make a documentary type series professional series professional quality for you know a network or netflix amazon hulu any network uh i've been talking about it for many years basically since I started. And uh, it's been a huge goal and dream of mine. Even start, starting the shop was kind of a stepping stone for that so that I could start making money and have kind of a platform or whatever to just dive all the time and get all the footage we need while we're writing scripts and all that for a pilot and all the other episodes. Uh, basically the premise of it is gonna be uh you know taking somebody shy one of our apprentices you you know her she's been with us a long time 
training her how to dive, trying to get her into the dive industry as a professional so she has a career. But it's going to be more location and marine biology education based. So, you know, I, I have an agent from that goes to all the dive shows. He has a little checklist saying, you know, kid friendly, ocean, marine biology, um, stuff like that. We have the whole checklist and we basically hit all the boxes. And all we have to do now is get the funding and get going. So with that being said, we pulled the trigger. I got a camera. We've been practicing. I got the Olympus OEM EM5 Mark III. It's real small, easy to travel with. Of course, we have the TG7 and we get awesome 4K footage. We've only had the TG7 for a month or two, uh, but we could go out every day practicing with both cameras, filming. It's, it's different filming as well. Like, uh, if you've been following us on Facebook, we get millions of views every month, but filming for that is different than filming even for these episodes where, you know, we just need 30 seconds or 60 seconds of something cool, some cool critter, it doesn't matter what. But with this, with the whole series, basically I want to do what Jack Cousteau is doing. I want to take Shy to a different location. Each episode is a different location and we're, we're filming a highlight of that. So maybe if we're in Malapasqua, some sharks and you know, this will help the wide angle lens or Tubataha sharks and mantas, whatever. We'll do the wide angle and allow Romblon. We'll do macro, but the point is we can, we'll take her to each location. She's never traveled, done anything like that. Train her to dive, but also teach her about marine biology and geography and oceanography, all those kind of things in each episode. So right now we're just going out front and filming as much as we can to get better ourselves because we can't hire a production crew um, or professional videographers. So we're having to get our skills up there. And then, like I said, it's different than filming for Facebook or something where we got to go out and get as long of footage as possible, like uh, like the whole story of an enemy. We'll film for days around this an enemy, see them lay eggs and see them as a family, the, the, the mother fish, the uh, clownfish, the father, the little babies, you know, a whole story, not just 60 second clips for Facebook or YouTube, but like a whole story, five minutes or four minutes of one species and then we move on and to another. So it's it's a whole different thing, training for a mirrorless camera rather than the TG7. We're getting there, we're getting there. So pretty soon we're gonna film the, uh, the first pilot episode here in Darwin because, well, we're already here. And then we're gonna start planning, trying to go find other locations for the Philippines. Of course, like Jack Cousteau style, my whole dream, the ultimate goal, is doing it from a boat all over the world each episode but for now budget wise i'm gonna have to stick to the philippines so romblon carone malapasqua we're, we're gonna seeky whore probably uh so if you guys have a dive resort or dive center in some of these locations around the philippines that we have to go to hit me up alex we're just talking about uh, your daughter, Shy. Yeah. We're gonna go film this, these episodes and show her, and hopefully make a professional uh, series for Netflix or Amazon. If you guys got contacts at some of these networks, hit me up about that as well. I could definitely use the help. But first goal, learn to be better cinematographer and make the pilot episode. All right, guys, me and Elvis gotta get back in the water, start filming, getting better, I'm getting better at this new mirrorless camera, but uh, Alvis is getting better at the TG7, so it's almost the same. Uh, we're gonna have to get better with the new camera, especially the wide angle with the white balance and all that, where the light doesn't reach, but I'm slowly, slowly getting better, and then we'll be ready to start doing the finishing touches on the script for the, the whole show, and especially the first episode, so. Yeah, that's enough updates for one day. See you guys on the next one.